Here I'm going to tie a flying squirrel fly, my own pattern. I uh, first tied it this summer and it worked flawlessly. I never seen fish uh, attack a fly so aggressively. So I'll take a couple minutes here and show you how I tie that fly. Just start off with a basic uh, thread wrap base of the of the hook. Now I'm adding the fine squirrel tail. Couple of soft wraps. Reposition the tail. Make sure I got it exactly where I want it. And, and then slowly start tightening up and securing that tail in proper position. I never noticed when I was tying the fly that I had missed uh, catching some of that hair, uh, but it's on secure enough. I got most of it, and when I add the green butt, it will be covered up. But I'm glad I did the video because I seen how when I wrap the my line up over the hook and trying to avoid the point of the hook, I always bring it a little forward and I end up missing some of that hair. So something that I can use uh, when I tie flies in the future to make sure I get a good solid wrap. Now I'm adding the uh, green, the fresh and green uh, butt to the fly. Slipping it off and then making sure I got it securely anchored. Don't worry about the little bits of uh, that little bit of uh, fluorescent material hanging down. That'll all uh, get covered when I add the next material, which is Chanel Olive. Chanel, Chanel Olive. I try to make this about uh, the body of the chenille olive about twice as wide as the, the butt of the fly. Or twice as long, I should say, not wide. Just tie it off, pull it forward up underneath the eye of the hook and snip it off before it gets to the eye. And then I'll just give that a quick wrap as well. Now the only thing left to do for this fly is to add another bit of uh, fluorescent green to the uh, to the throat of the fly, throat or neck, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, I pausing uh, to keep an eye on the World Junior Hockey game that's on TV. Go back and capture the fluorescent green. Carefully trying to uh, get it as even as, as possible. A couple 
the tight wraps and then snip off the, the end. Now all I gotta do is tie the head of the fly. And for these flies, I don't know what it is, but I like to put a big head on it. And uh, it seems it seems to work good. I like to make the head approximately the same length or, or size as the uh, fluorescent green wraps. It just seems to work really, really well. Normally I don't have the heads of my flies this big, but for this particular fly, uh, this is this is how I like to make it. Now I'll take my time here. This is called a, a whip finisher. And I'll take my time and show you how I do it. I'll do it nice and slow. One wrap. I could have had that fly a little tighter in the vise. Two. I like to go four times. Three. And then the final wrap. Four. Let it slide off to the, the mid part of the uh, whip finisher. And then using the end of the whip finisher pulling the string tight, nice and secure, snipping it off. Now the only thing I have to do is add the uh, black head cement to the fly, give it a final look, nice big head on it, And now I'm just adding the uh, the head cement, the black head cement. This stuff is very absorbent. Just let it uh, sit sit into the to the head. We'll soak it up and take everything and turn it a nice dark black color. I use a a two pick so I don't apply too much at once. And then I just let it dry, and the next thing uh, you'll see me adding would be the uh, clear nail polish. And that gives it the head a nice shine to it, and it also adds a lot of strength so that, uh, like I said, I'll take this fly out and I'll easily catch um, 40, 50, 60, up to 80 trout every outing with a fly, and uh, it comes back. Uh, just as good as new after all those fish anyway if you uh, enjoyed watching this please uh, hit the like button subscribe or, and leave a comment below I'll probably uh, do a few more flies a few more videos on tying flies in the future and I hope you enjoyed the music the music is played on a harmonica by my father who's also called Charlie White